use of Wanda's powers. We see Agnes having that conversation, her dress up as a witch, which in the trailer, I don't know if you guys were a little underwhelmed with that scene because in the trailer, we all thought that was going to maybe be like a bigger moment of her revealing who she is. But I mean, the scene fits into context, but it didn't really give me what I was maybe looking for. And that was just, I guess, on me for my expectations. But Agnes, good guy, bad guy. Uh, is she, like Sean, I think Sean mentioned early, red herring, that whole scene, was it just pretend that she was just pretending to be under the heck like what's your thought on that whole scene that we get with them at the car are you are you dead because you know am i dead you're dead too yeah um that i feel like if they were going to reveal agnes in a way like reveal who she was a bit more i feel like that was the opportune moment you know what i yeah. mean like you said like like the expectations were there that something more was going to come from it and it didn't um so now I'm feeling like Agnes is just like, she's more connected to Wanda, I feel, than anything. Um, yeah. I don't think it's anything bigger than that because if, again, like if we're gonna go like comic book wise, it's completely different how it plays out like we just, we've just yeah. been saying. Yeah. So I think that Agnes is just Agnes and she, and Wanda's kind of like using her and then Agnes could be also using Wanda and she is dressed as a witch for a reason. So um, I do think that, they have a closer connection that we than we may like see at this point. So I think that's yeah. that's where I'm leaning towards. And, and I think it's so funny. It's almost like they're writing the show as we're responding to each week because we all are assuming she's Agatha Harkness and she's dressed up as a witch, which, you know, mm -hmm. Agatha Harkness is a witch in the comics, one of the first original witches in the MCU. So it's almost like they're playing with us. Like it's almost too easy that she's mm -hmm. that character. And like you just said, Amanda, in the comics, she's not like a villain. She actually helps Wanda learn her powers, mm -hmm. which go back to that commercial feeding off of magic. Is yeah. there some type of exchange of like, hey, I'll give you your perfect life if you you know, maybe share some of that uh, magic you got there. But Chris, Agnes, man, uh, is it all the hoax? Is it a red herring? Is it someone that is uh, helping Wanda, disguised helping Wanda? What's your thoughts, man? Yeah, I don't think she's helping Wanda. At, well, willingly, I would say. I think she, and I don't think she pretended in that scene, but it was a very well-acted scene. I'll give a shout out to that performance. I yeah. love her, obviously. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, to your point about the trailer, like, you know, like for a show like this, like it'd be tough for Marvel to give us really anything that we could really dive into because you know people are going to yeah. pull it to shreds. So they're going to give us those like little fake outs in the trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was a dark moment too, especially, you know, she's telling him like, why would I be dead is because you're dead. And then, you know, she tells him like he's an Avenger and he says, what's an Avenger? Like, it's like this, that was like a dark moment, like like on his mm -hmm. overall scene. Um, yeah. But yeah, I want to believe that that was that Agnes wasn't pretending there. Um, and it was just a, another kind of like shift of direction from of the show of like, they're leading us to believe that Agnes is this, you know, this character, but like to your point, like maybe, maybe they're just trolling us. Bringing it back to you, Zach, man, again, um, and not playing too much on the comics, but you know, if, if Agatha Harkness is helping Wanda, hone in her powers, her abilities. Again, Kevin Feige said we're seeing the transition from WandaVision to the Scarlet Witch. What's the give and take in this relationship? I'll help you get the things you need. Literally in the show, she's helped her out almost at every step of the way. From the very first episode, she needed food to cook for the Hart family. You know, who was at the front door? Mm -hmm. The kids have to have a doggy house. You know, all this. She's always there to help Wanda. But what's is there an alter alternative motive in why she's helping her? What's your thoughts on Agnes in that moment, man? I just feel like it would ultimately be very satisfying for that scene from this episode to come back as, oh, I was just lying. Um, you know, I, I feel like it, it wouldn't, it's cheating the audience a little bit. If, if yeah. you give us this idea that, you know, vision taps them and they, they can speak the truth and yeah. then all of a sudden she's not speaking the truth. And yeah, maybe that would make sense if she is this powerful character, but I, I just don't think it would be satisfying in the, in the right way that it makes sense for them to include that. Maybe there is a little bit more to her character. I, I don't know, as you mentioned about enough of the comics to wonder if the way that the hex is changing uh, Monica's, blood maybe there's something going on also and that that ultimately is what will help unleash agatha agnes whatever but yeah i i kind of am moving away from the idea that she is uh, a co-conspirator at least mm. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's it'll be really interesting to see how they handle that and, and toss it to you, Chris, and regarding your thoughts on Agnes. Again, if it is to be true, I think someone mentioned in the comics regarding that or uh, three witches being involved in the show. Uh, we have Wanda being Scarlet Witch. We have Agnes, and then we have a third witch, which I'm thinking if this this witch theory, it's probably Dottie. Uh, and again, if we are to play off of the idea that if Agatha Harkness is in the show, she was one of the first original witches who were killed on Salem trial. So there's might be some type of, you know, the, the witches come together and, and taking over the world. But this, your thoughts on again uh, trusting Agnes as the ally or a foe? Uh, I just love hearing all of you guys' theories because it's like making me think about all these things. Like you know, um, the fact that like um, I think something Zach you just said before about like the fact that like these people are all being affected and like yeah. you know, kind of we were talking a little bit before about Monica potentially getting powers. What if this whole thing is turning all these people into X Men? Like, what if they're all turning into mutants right now because they're in this yeah. world? Yeah. Um, but going back to um, uh, Agnes, I don't. I didn't think that she was faking. Um, but I did think, like you guys said, that it was a little bit anticlimactic to what I was expecting. Like, it was such an epic line for the trailer. And then when you're like, yeah. thinking, like, she's still a great actress, but I was like expecting a little bit more. Yeah. And so what I was thinking is maybe this is Agatha Harkness. Maybe, I mean, going back to what you guys mentioned a minute ago about the commercial, maybe she was that shark that was helping Wanda, but maybe in like a positive way, because she has been an ally to Wanda in the comics. Um, but yeah. maybe it kind of took a turn and, and Wanda has overtaken everything. And now Agatha or Agnes doesn't have control over anything. She's just a pawn like everyone else. Like maybe she was someone who was an ally for her and does help her throughout the episodes doing different things. But maybe now she's just like under her control. Um, maybe they were friends and now she was just like, you know, stuff like everyone else. Because um, yeah. I, I believed her when she was just like, what's going on? Am I dead? You're dead. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that's kind of where I'm, I'm leading right now. I like where you're going on that thread because, again, just playing into uh, if, if the devil is, is is in the details. I need Wanda to give birth to these kids, Agatha, and if you do so, I'll break this spell that you've been under. Of, uh, if we are, I know, uh, Kristen, you watch a lot of Charm, so you know all the the witch and stuff and all yeah. the stuff that goes on. We talked about Sabrina earlier. Maybe Agna, uh, Agatha was brought into the mix to help uh, to kind of deceive Wanda to befriend her to have these children grow up quickly. As we noticed that every time the kids grew up last week, she was involved in every single one of those scenes, and she played into the fact that maybe I think she killed that dog. But maybe she has like some type of sympathy for Wanda and she's playing the fence. She's a good guy and a bad guy. But, you know, we'll see. Sean, man, where have you been at these last five weeks uh, or six weeks now with Agnes and uh, Catherine Hahn in this role? I mean, up to the car scene, I was assuming there's more to her. It's like she was some big piece in this. When they yeah. put the pictures up on the wall, identifying their real identities – there's yep. nothing next to her name. That mm -hmm. seems like a pretty big piece. The way that she's used, she's more present. She said lines of dialogue like the devil's everywhere. She's yeah. always seemed to be alluding to a few more things. I was at mm -hmm. week four where they did the, the reset deal. Uh, yeah. Or week mm -hmm. five uh, where she's like, do you want me to do that again? Mm -hmm. So she always seemed to be the one – we're giving so much evidence that there was something fishy about her. Yeah. But then to, to mirror what, what Zach said about that, that car scene, if you establish rules that vision does something and then, then you break your own rules, you might surprise me with a twist, but you cheated to do it. Yeah. And yeah. when, especially when you have a show that has so few rules that are established at the moment, that seems like a pretty shady way to, to, to trick us. So yeah. I, I think that there's more to her. I think there's something up. I think there's too much evidence that she's more connected than these other random people that were pulled in. Right. So, right. but exactly what that means. And the other thing to think about with this is that Wanda herself doesn't seem to fully understand what's going on. She's right. confused yeah. too. So, and she's clearly in control. She's clearly acting are mostly kind of in control. She has left, she's come back, but she also doesn't understand things. And yeah. that's what makes it really difficult to even interpret a lot of this when she's the person that seems to be our perspective. You know, I, I don't know what this means because if Wanda's also confused as to what's going on, so Agnes saying that she doesn't know either, 
well, I don't know how to interpret that. But yeah. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure there's something. There, there's got to be something more to it. Otherwise, yeah. that's yeah. just a lot. That's a pretty significant red herring that just feels like you're duping the audience rather than a, a legitimate misdirect. Yeah. And someone uh, brought it up where it was a comment about, uh, and we talked about it earlier, that line that Agnes said about Dottie being the key to everything, I think plays a very big thing into the show regarding if Agnes is maybe under some type of uh, agreement with Dottie. Um, and again, why was Agnes at the edge of the town where you don't supposed to go, which is on Ellis Street? Was she trying to find a way to get out of this situation? Was she going to meet with her, whoever's in control of this? So it's... It's a lot of stuff going on with Agnes that I, I'm really looking forward to. Number one, I hope that we get more of Catherine Hahn in the MCU after this show. I hope this isn't like a one and done deal because I think she's like fantastic in this role. So, but Agnes, Quicksilver, as you said, Sean, we can't trust anyone at this point, even though we love these characters. So, final kind of moments of the show before we give up, uh, give you all our final thoughts. Um, one. 